Very same food coloring that we used for the meandering stream lab. Remember putting the drops in? Yeah. Uh, seeing it pulled to the outside, faster on the outside. So now I have green food coloring and I'm going to squish it in here. Love you guys. You see it? You see it? I gave it a big squeeze. And there it is. Now I'm going to take my hot water and pour it down here. Because deep in the earth, it's nice and hot. It is one of my old cottage cheese containers. Yeah. And then up near the surface, for as far as the inside of the earth goes, it's cold. So I have ice cube. Ice cube. And I'm going to put ice cubes here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm going to put ice cubes here. Yeah. And now we wait. wait. For what? For how long? Um, <coughs> not too much longer. So think to yourself, think back to your experiences maybe in science, maybe at home cooking or something like that. What happens to things that are hot? They expand. All right, they expand. And if you're in a fluid like this, it could be air, it could be water, what do things do when they expand? They get like bigger. They get lighter. All right, they get bigger, they get lighter. So what are lighter things going to do? Raise. Raise, rise, go up, right? Is so, do you see it happening? Yeah. Right, I gave this a big push to show you that, hey, this, this really happens here. You put the hot water here, the, the hot water is heating up the, uh, this, this uh, column here, and so the hot water is rising. Just like inside the earth, we get hot rock that rises, it rises, it rises, and it comes along the, the bottom. So if you picture like you walking around up here, here's a North American plate, here's the Eurasian plate or African plate. And in this case, it's pushing us away from each other. What's the cold stuff going to do? It's going to contract, right? And what does that do to this water? It makes it go up or down. No. Yeah. So now this is sinking. Can you, I don't know, maybe the people yeah, in the front can see this. The food coloring one over here, it's a little faster on this side for whatever reason. Oh, here it comes over here. And so now the food coloring is, is going down there. Awesomeness. And now the ice is turning green, right? So let's look at the ones on that. Can you see that from here? And now with the turkey baster, I want to refresh my hot water down there. I find water about uh, 120 degrees, very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. The guy with the one arm. All right, so now here comes some nice, uh, oh no, I don't have black eyes. Who's the guy that you got to knock off and uh, reflex? You're on the bridge at the end, the guy slides the pistol to you. Alright, putting more in here. And then guess what I have? What color? Red. Yeah, we should have done this the day before uh, break, but. Yeah, this is a color blind Sorry. Okay, this could really. You could make people nervous. You drop some of this in the toilet in the nurse's office. Like, oh, I just threw up in there or something like that. And she'd be like, oh my god. It's all blood. Blood, right. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It doesn't even. I gave it a big push to try to get it to go down again. And this convex. Well, nah, I just gave it. What is this movement of, of uh, energy called? Convection. Convection. Right. So this is convecting. I got hot stuff rising. I got cold stuff sinking, and this happens, it happens inside the earth. It happens on the sun. 
It happens in our atmosphere. It happens in the oceans. It's everywhere. Solids. Gets liquids to, to move. Internal arrangement of atoms. Let's throw that in for, for no reason. So that's that. Pretty cool. All right, Adam, I think we're good, man.